as the head coach. And he's got a Spiders team that he's pretty excited about what they have the potential to be despite a lot of new faces. Eight newcomers to this Richmond team. Still trying to find that stroke early in the season and knocks down an early one. Noise off the handoff from Quinn and Noise answers from three. It's the dominant performance in game number two of the season. Posted 90 in each of their first two games this year. Quinn again, spins around post, goes up. What a start for Neil Quinn. And also stepping out and hitting a jump shot just beyond the free throw line. Post inside right off the inbounds. Good little slip play there. And Quinn Post is on the board. Well, the first shot we showed you coming out of break there was Quinn on the bench. And you wonder if 12 for BC is going to feast when Quinn is getting a rest at the moment. There's a pull-up jumper for King that's good. So Jordan King with his first field goal. Six to shoot for Richmond. King around his man. Thought about the three. Instead drives. King to the bucket. There is the skill of Neil Quinn as a passer. And he finds the cutter. Then it's turned over and put right back in by Hunt. And all of a sudden, Richmond has opened up an 11-point lead. King a deep three, got it! Wow, Jordan King from way downtown. By the way, this latest run Richmond has done without Quinn on the floor, been able to build up to this lead. Certainly a shot you're okay with if you're Boston College. Here's Quinn way out, you'll give him that one, he missed. So Quinn has been stuck on nine points for a while now after he had nine in the first four minutes. Yeah, I mean, even though he was four or four from the floor, I think the BC scouting report probably says let him take that shot. Post for three. Got it! Kalani hunts at 30. That's the most. But everyone else is around somewhere between 15 and, and 23. Quinn's right about at 20. No, he's trying to find something and does with a double team there. Five points for Aiden Noyes. And Richmond has reestablished a five-point lead. That is turned over. Great read on the pass by Tyler Harris. Just into the game for the first time. Noise with the offensive rebound and put back. Do at least get the opportunity to draw something up here in a big spot. Zachary on the drive. Got inside. Was blocked. Sends it right back out. Here's Hand for three. At the horn. He got it. Four-point lead to the halftime break. Scramble drill off the loose ball underneath the game. And he was a plus 14 in 10 minutes and 44 seconds on the floor. Quinton Post to answer. That's a too strong from three. Got his own rebound, though. Kept it alive. And Post ties the game. Quinn walks in on the ISO. Left hand good. Neil Quinn with 15 points. Tip pass for Harris. Sets up a league bay. Three ball. Good! Michael Tyne back in for Richmond. Post on the drive. Oh, quick post! Look at that. I mean... Win with post back in there for Boston College. Up and under, good. 20 points from Neil Quinn. Look at the way he goes baseline and uses the rim to protect the basketball. Second half, and now the largest lead of the game at eight. Turned over. Harris, got it. Defensive defensively. Harris with the turnover, and BC with its first double-digit lead. Seven to shoot, post. Quinn, oh, lost the handle on it. I think Quinn came in and got a piece. Huge possession here, back cut, got it. Jai Bailey with six points. The two score game. Zachary spins away from King, got open and got it. Just five seconds to go, it's taken away by Harris. Roach got it back, not gonna matter though. 
Boston College holds on 68-61 the final.